What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the E30 series. So in today's episode, we're gonna get this thing looking pretty, or at least as pretty as we can get it, which isn't very pretty, but we should be able to get it a little bit better than it sits. What we're basically gonna do is respray the rockers and get rid of the rust because that looks horrible. We're gonna respray the kidney grills and get them back to black because as of right now they look like they're paint matched, they're so faded. Uh, give it a good wash, a little detail, and uh, just a quick to get it looking nicer than it looks because it just looks rough, especially with the rusty rockers. It's a really bad look. So as a disclaimer to this video, because I think there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments kind of talking trash. You guys have seen how I work on nice cars. I like to do things the right way. I don't do body work. I don't know how to do body work. And this is not a car worth legitimate body work. Um, if you want the right way to handle rusty rockers, cut the rockers off and replace them. Am I gonna spend thousands of dollars on this E30 worth maybe a few thousand dollars? No, I'm not. So you guys have to bear with me. This is strictly to be used as entertainment and a guide to show you how to basically just do a quick cosmetic fix. This is not gonna be a legitimate uh, how-to. This is gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna tackle this to make this card look a little bit better as it's used in the future. It's gonna be a winner beater for the rest of its life. It's never gonna be nice. So basically anything to get it looking a little bit nicer is what we're going after here. So what I'm gonna use is Rust-Oleum undercoating and the plan of attack for this is basically we're gonna sand down with a sanding disc on a grinder and by hand sand down this rust everywhere we see it and then pretty much just go ahead and spray. The nice thing about this is we're not doing like paint work so we don't need to do a start at low grit, get to high grit because this is rubberized black so the finish of it is rubberized which is what the rockers of these cars actually look like. So I think this will be a decent match um, which is nice because we don't have to smooth it out because it's not gonna be a of the uh, perfect finished paint it's gonna be wrinkled so all we have to do is get so we can't see the rust anymore and then just spray them it'll be easy it'll be quick this is a budget cheap build so I'm gonna show you guys the budget cheap way to do this I spent I think 25 bucks for three cans of this sanding discs are you know 20 bucks maybe and uh, so we're gonna have an E30 that should look loads better for like under like $80 which I think is pretty cool and by the end of this video, hopefully, we will have an E30 that goes from looking like this to looking like this. So now what's controversial about what we're doing and what I'm afraid of how it will turn out is the rockers are only supposed to be wrinkled black up to here, right? And then this is where it gets to be paint. Well, the way this car rusted, it rusted up here, which means this has to be attended to. So we are gonna have black wrinkle up to here, which is gonna be a little bit higher than it should be. So to start, we're just gonna go crazy with the grinder on the bottom of the rocker. I don't have any tape, I gotta wait to get that. Then I'll go up to the top. But for now, we're gonna do the bottom, grind out all the big rust spots, basically just get it so that we don't really see the rust anymore. And then we'll move up and we'll get along the edge there where we'll have to put a little bit more precision in it. You can see here after some decent sanding with the 60 or the 50 grit, it actually does get the rust out, but you can see where it's pitted. So yeah, this is what you'd call, I don't know, I don't really know what you'd call this, but it's its not, you know, rod, it's just like surface rust, because you could get it out, but it still is pitted in there, and that's what I mean when I say it usually comes back, because it's just, its rust is a chemical thing, and once the, it's kind of beginning, it's just gonna keep coming back. So we can spray over it, but like I said, this isn't going to prevent it. The car's still going to be rusting actively, but it's just going to look better. And all I care about is making it look better for the, for the time being, so. All 
right, so those are the two worst spots cosmetically, and they sanded out pretty good, which is not bad. So that's uh, as good as it's going to get. It's still pretty pitted, but uh, not horrible. So now I'm going to go around and scuff up the rest with a 60 grit. So I'm going to do the rest of this, and the rocker's not even, unless there's rust there, I'm not going to touch it. Um, so we're just going to scuff up this painted part here and get ready to spray. So we are scuffed up, everything's sanded as best as I can. Now we're going to tape everything off and then it's time to spray. Alright, we're all prepped up, running out of daylight, so let's go ahead and paint real quick. We're just going to spray it, spray it all over, we're going to do two coats, and then probably won't have enough daylight to show you the finished products, then tomorrow we'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all cured. hell it's starting to rain worst time to be doing this but it's, it's already done so I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the daylight and hopefully this comes out decent given the conditions pulled off all the masking on this side and that's what the side looks like not too bad with the black bottoms I mean realistically that's how these cars look from factory they have black rockers these ones go up a tad bit more because that strip right under the door should be painted, but that was a lot of rust, so I just couldn't, you know, live with that. So I had to go up a little bit. So the black bottoms go a little bit higher than they should, but I think they look fantastic on this car. I mean, look at that. It's it's just fresh black, you know, and it, it does a lot for the car, I think, and it really cleans it up, and not seeing rust and stuff just looks way better. So you can see the... The lip, the black comes up over the lip there. Not too bad, but the paint and the wrinkle came out really nice. The texture's still there. I think this just looks really good. So I'm gonna respray the uh, headlight grills now and the kidneys, refinish those. Then I'm probably gonna do the mirrors because you can see the mirrors, one's faded uh, beyond the other, so it looks kind of bad. So. Uh, I think, you know, with all the stuff combined, it'll really kind of bring some new life into this car. You don't even think about it, but you'll see at the end of this video, I think you'll kind of be impressed at how much just like re-getting the blacks back to black, how much it actually does for a car. So, we're going to go ahead and pop these off really quick. On Knee 30, it's pretty simple. It's just a bunch of Phillips laying around, and this just looks like two clips at the top. So, should be pretty easy. All right, check out all the trim pieces, the kidneys, as well as the mirrors, all clean, prepped, ready to go. I don't really do much prep work, just cleaning them up. We got the SEM trim black. This is what you need for all the BMW trims that are in black. This is an identical match. It's perfect. This is what I did on my E34. This stuff's, I think, like 16 bucks for one of these. So, uh, should get us through all this trim. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. I'll do a couple coats each, and we'll see these things when they look like brand new. I got a couple layers on there. They're all cured up and they look fantastic. Super excited to put these on, man. These are going to make a world of difference. So let's go ahead and install these real quick. Let's take a moment and just admire 
the transformation that that trim did to the front end of this car. Yes, I cracked the fog light pulling it off the trailer the other day, so that needs to be re-glued, but man, I quickly used some uh, shine stuff on that chrome. It didn't really do much. The chrome's pretty pitted, but I don't know. You can't tell me that freshly black painted trim doesn't make a world of difference. I mean, the front end of this car, it cleaned up so much compared to before. Like I said before, it literally looked like a paint match grill, which looks pretty tacky. But that fresh black, man, looks good. And yeah, you could probably do all these trims, but I don't have enough paint, and this car is not worth me using all my good product. I've been trying to iterate that this entire video just because I just know people are going to call me stupid for what I did with the rockers and stuff, but it, I am not going to sink hundreds of dollars into a car that I'll probably break even on. So this is just for you guys to show you what doing a couple odd things around and how much it can transform the car. And... These grills absolutely transform the car. It looks so good. I mean, just like the E28, fresh black grills make all the difference. You can see my Calypso faded, kind of ugly. Wait a minute, we can't, we can't leave this. Much better. This isn't a brand new Roundel. This is actually an old one off, I think my E46 M3. With the clear coat failing, it's the old style. But uh, it's all I had, so that'll do. But now, we have a true transformation of the front end of this car. So I'm not in love with how the mirrors came out. I think what went wrong here is I used quick detail to clean them, and I guess I didn't let it dry, or I should have alcoholed them more. So the finish came out like kind of spotty. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's not great. I did alcohol the insides here and like here, and it came out perfect, but on this wider area, which I didn't really prep, and this is more of like a painted surface. Um, I didn't, you know, sand it or smooth it or anything. It, it came out very odd, but um, I don't care enough to redo it. So if the next owner wants to fix these anymore, they can, but I will say, to have them a uniform solid black color looks really good the faded uh looked horrible so toss these on really quick and then uh let's get this thing i don't even know where to put it to see the driveway's a mess but figure out something i'll give you guys the final you know outside view and then quickly wash it i guess uh and call it so i said i was gonna wash it the weather got really cold and crappy and not, it's not a very satisfying wash. It's not that dirty. It's just filthy. So through the camera You probably can't even tell how dirty it is But I mean there's a few things that need to be addressed here and there But the main things that we're gonna do is showing you what respraying the rockers and the trim pieces can do and the mirrors And I think it actually looks pretty good I want to hear what you guys think but I'm actually pretty pleased with this result because I think that that really brought in a whole lot of new life to the car I'll flash a before picture. I'll flash be after pictures um, you know, the faded with rust all over it rockers really made this car look like crap. And the, the faded front grills that are almost paint matched also makes the car look like crap. No grill makes the car look like crap. Mix match mirrors make the car look like crap. I am very, very, very happy with how this car came out. Yes, I know, like I've iterated many times, this isn't the best way to do it. This isn't the cure for it rust will prevail at the end of the day but i don't know how many times i can say it to you guys the car is not worth proper rust repair i this is not a car i'm building this is not a car i'm keeping this is just going to be a winter beater for someone so i'm not going to dump thousands of dollars into a car that is not worth even half of that so i'm happy with what it came out to be obviously there's a whole bunch of extra things we could do but i'm just not willing to dump the money into it so that's why you know i'm not doing any of the other trims you know the bumper trims the match it would really complete the picture but it's just not worth my time and my effort and my money i hope this video helped as an aid to just kind of show you guys how doing little things can really transform a car and i hope that this proved that so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one. The car's on dollies because it doesn't run anymore. So we're going to dig into that in the next episode. But uh, anyway, I will see you in that episode. Peace.